All right. I'd actually been putting off even listening to the CB1s for a while. I got them and I'm like, oh, good, they're here. Put them on the table. I regret it a little bit, a little, 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 little bit, because they are fucking exceptional. And the, uh, 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 cheap, under 100, sort of like the same price range as you get the uh, M40Xs, which I do indeed love. But the M40Xs need work. They need modification, they need things to happen to them before they are acceptable. And these don't. Well, this is the wire they come with. I don't believe it came with two wires. It's been a while. And it's one of those, you know, standard Audio-Technica rip-off things with the screw on. And it's a little baby coil there. And then it's got the lead to a three and a half with a lock that goes in the hole. But... And I actually bought these cables from Status Audio before I bought these CB1s from Status Audio. Since it's a three and a half, you can use a V-Motor cable or Status Audio, and I guess I'll review the cable, these particular cables right here now. So a like two-pack. This, see this is a six foot desk. We are looking at 42.3 uh, inch with a Microphone and button, flat cable, black, that just, you know, plugs right in there. Also works on, like, ship 9500s, also works on X1s, X2s, and it also comes with this, and this is, I think, is a six-footer. Yes, this is a, almost a six-footer, not with a quarter inch, but three and a half to three and a half, in red. Look how fucking straight it is. God, I love flat cables. Well, so if you buy the CB1s, and by the end of this review, you're probably going to, and you want to ditch that wire, this two-pack is $10. Two, amazing. Like, this is 15 alone. So you get two of these with a button, so you can use it on your phone. And talk to it for ten dollars for the two for the two for the two both cables and a little box. It says status audio. I'm like, oh. All right, now I don't know what status audio did right about these headphones, but they fucking did it right. They're the most unassuming things. Just look. I mean, let me shorten them. They look like generic. Counter-Strike on a desk, you know, next to the beefy computer. This would be the render of a headphone. And that's all it would need to be. They fold, by the way, with this weird, like, I don't know why that comes out, but... It does. As far as the materials here, this is a nut. You can feel it's rubber. This is a giant block of rubber in here, which I'm, I'm all for, because then you could do that, and it's fine. The plastics here are not world-endingly good. <laughs> That's fine. Actually, does that... Oh, God, I think I... Yep, I'm definitely going to break it if I pull that apart. Let's not do that, because I actually do really, really, really like these headphones. Spring-loaded swivel for, again, some reason. I don't... I don't know what the purpose of having that be spring loaded is, but they do it. Just unassuming, look at this, it's like plastic metal rings, those aren't even metal metal rings, so they might be just very, yeah, they're very, very thin stamped some sort of metal with black, and it's just, it's just thing, and then this is a thing, this old thing, it's just d default shitty headphone, basically. But then you put them on, and you hit these giant pads, and they are three knuckle pads. And they're like, oh, I don't have to change these. Like on some headphones, you just have to change them. The M40s, you have to change them. You have to. There is no option. Where these, you put them on, it's like, fuck me. These are comfortable. They're backwards now, but I mean, 
the hell is this? Oh, oh, yeah, okay. This top headpiece, that's comfortable too. They've got just enough padding in here. And if it, it's tight, it's a tight curve. When they're giant, big curves, only a very small section hits the top of your head. Since this is a tight curve, and when you pull it apart, it doesn't get much just flatter. That means that a lot of this rests in your head, which means a lot more weight distribution, which means it's much more comfortable. And then you hear them. So you put them on, it's like, oh, wow, these are comfortable. Then you hear them, and it's like, fuck. Fuck you, Status Audio. Who are you to say what I could like and dislike? Now, I didn't do the uh, open back ones from Status. I did a set of the Sonics, which are basically rebrands to Status. And I'm sure that these are not manufactured by Status Audio. These, all, I mean, they literally say it nowhere on here of what even these fucking are. There's nothing. There's no, there's no anything. It says R, I'm sorry. It says L, it says R. There are numbers here delineating like the openness of it and that's it mystery headphones if you found these and you're like oh, i want to look these up you have no clue does it even say made in china anywhere on there because i'm assuming that's where they're made nope nope these are debadged headphones so they didn't even bother they didn't put an s here to say status or anything. nothing they're nothingness headphones these are like generic russian communist headphones Looking, looking. As far as build, I mean, even one of the pads is upside down. I didn't do that. Can you rotate these? I mean, you can pull them off. Do I want to? No, I want to. I want to put this back on. There's nothing. There's nothing special looking under that. Now I've screwed it up. Oh God. Oh please, no! I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to do this. Fuck. Ruined it all. It's ruined. Just throw these out. Look at the size of that driver in there. That is big. Bigger than I... Well, I'm sure it's not anything bigger than a 50. Is it a 55? Will it say? Will it say? No, 50 millimeter. Ergonomic ear pigs for long recording sessions. Recording sessions. You know what? I'm not going to knock them. They're, they're, they're listed under musical instruments. They're listed as studio monitors. Hell yeah. But not just like, oh, your studio monitors are nice and flat. Blah, blah, blah. These are exceptionally good. For a literally no name, no, no name, anywhere brand. Even the headphone cables, come to think of it, are status audio, but they don't say anything on them. I like it. I like that angle that they're taking. I mean, I could, I, I almost broke the, like you could see it's just separating like here when I pull, but uh, don't do that and they'll be fine. For the way these sound and the way these feel, default for $80. You can't not. You can't not. You cannot not just, oh, by the way, there's a foam insert here. Yeah, okay, I'll leave that in. I'll leave that in. The highs, it's, it's, they're perfect headphones. They have, they don't have exceptional sound stage. They're not like the Urbanites, where the Urbanites got really wide and he lost detail. But they're not those bare dynamic custom streets where they're so narrow and sharp and just, oh. Uh, they're just, they're, they're right in the middle. They're like, they're, the competition you're all going to ask me is, what about the M40Xs? You all just, you just made me buy the M40Xs, you love them. And these are literally that. These are literally direct competition to those headphones that I love. Are they built as well? No, obviously not, because I'm gonna break them real soon. I really want to get this back. What does this do? Hold on. Oh, is this one of those things? Hold on. Actually, it says L there. Is this the left side? No, it's the R. Maybe it's just a thing. I don't want to break these headphones. I don't want to break them. Hey, that's not doing anything. All right. Let's try this. See how this works. Yeah, 
the uh, the left side, the right side is now much less comfortable. Oh, and I don't need to have them in that either. I can have them in this. This is how we do it on Z reviews. Just so slide it under there. The low end. The low end. It's so sweet. Imaging. Low end. Everything. It was the OCD that this was upside down, and now I'm gonna make it right side up. I hate. I hate putting pads on headphones, and you you're gonna hate it too. Don't worry. I gotta lower Lord, or she's gonna get me, or Randy's gonna get me pulled. <sighs> you could try to take. Yeah, all right. Um, I'm glad I ignored these for a while on my review desk over there. Chewbacca, what are you doing? Don't look evil down there. Your review is coming. Yeah, I like to announce I also hit the 1500 mark on the Patreon thanks to my bitch sister who owed me money. And she's like, I'm just going to pay you back on Patreon. I'm like, that's great. Collect fees and taxes on my, the money you owed me. That's great. But, um, yeah. Come on. I think I got it. I think I got it, boys. It's mostly boys watching, right? If you're a woman, please comment that you are one. Although that would single you out on the internet, and then you'd have just creepers after you. So just just sit there. It's fine. Alright, that's... Oh my god, it's so annoying to get in. Point. Point. Am I done with this review? Well, I don't know what else is... I don't know what to say. They're fucking amazing. The low end is on point more than any uh, for sub for their price range. These are the best headphones on, in the price range. I mean, talk about well. Then you're all gonna ask, and I'm gonna answer. Oh, ship 9500s are these? Just like he has ship 9500s of the Audio Technica M40s, and it's literally a matter of well, can you use open? If you can use open, why don't you give it a shot? But maybe you want clothes. These certainly have better bass than the Ship 9500s. They're probably on par. These might have better bass than the, than the ATH-40. ATH-M40Xs, too. I need like a razor blade or something. That's close enough. So, I mean, people have been begging me for this review for a while. And I know why. But... You don't have to worry about it. Just, just buy them. Don't you? I should have just started the camera and been like, "Yeah, everything you've ever heard about them is true." With spades. With spades. Chromatics. These streets will never look the same. From the Kill for Love, Kill for Love soundtrack uh, album. Yeah, all right. I'm sold. I'm sold on status audio. Except for this goddamn build. If these were built like, I don't know, Fidelio's, they could charge $300 for these, and I'd be perfectly fucking fine with it. Quality. That's quality up there. Those big rubber chunks are always what get me get me going. I almost feel like re-recording this demo with, with like a, a rape scene at the beginning of it. Headphone demo in the description. Some of the best headphones you can buy under two hundred dollars. Alright? Two hundred you know what? What's what else is out there closed? Under two fifty. Well, there's a couple more over there. All right, these are these are the winners. These have won. They should win all the awards, and they should all be purchased. If you're a newbie and you don't know what to get, here you go, newbie. Here you go. God, 
they're so fucking good for so cheap and they have nothing i mean i know why they're cheap they're built like this is cheap but whatever they did whatever driver they picked out of a bin and put in this and then picked these pads out of another bin i've never seen these pads on anything else because anything else would be just as comfortable pretty much so th th there's there's magic in these cans and I think, it, do you need, fuck, I'm trying to, because I don't want, I don't like when everyone, I'm, oh, you make me buy everything, and I don't want to make you buy everything, but if you have nothing, holy fuck, is this a good place to start. You have these and the ships, you now have two complete worlds that would have before cost you, you know, five, six hundred dollars to get two headphones, an open and a closed, that are as good as those are and these are. I gotta end this. I, I'm just. Uh, 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 uh.